It's called alternative energy, the key to a brighter tomorrow. Notice all the animals wearing sunglasses? Because it's a brighter tomorrow. Yeah. Annie is talking about some kind of experiment. She's behind you. Not interested. Please. You get paid. Do they do stuff to your butt? No. Do you get paid more if they do stuff to your butt? No. It's fine. I'll do it. I'm in. Hey. How about you, Abed? It's tomorrow. Ooh, tomorrow? They're showing all four Indiana Joneses at the Vista. I'm really looking forward to the first three. I bought a whip. This is really important to me, Abed. Could you please go as my friend? My really good friend. Well, I didn't realize we were really good friends. I figured we were more like Chandler and Phoebe. They never really had stories together. Sure, I'll do it, Chandler. Oh, thank you, Abed. Is it on pause? No, that's just him. Sorry, you've been waiting 26 hours. It's just gonna be another five minutes. Okie dokie. Oh, my. Okay. Why won't he leave? Go home! Cool. See ya. Hey, sorry about Bailey on the psych experiment. That was the experiment, Troy. We were testing to see how long people would wait in the room. Whoa. Oh. Gotcha. Gotcha? That's all you have to say? Yep. You sat in a room for 26 straight hours. Didn't that bother you? Yeah, I was livid. Then why didn't you leave? Because you asked me to stay and you said we were friends. Abed? Here. I wanted to say sorry for yelling at you. Indiana Jones, cool. I just got the first three because the fourth, fourth one, one blows. blows. <laughs> We're cool. You sit here, okay, and be a girl. Abed, you take a run at her. Let's see what you got. Okay. Hmm. What are you reading? Pride and Prejudice. So you're familiar with two sins. How about a third? Oh. I don't think we're allowed to smoke in here. Then you picked the wrong outfit. Didn't you? Abed, what are you doing? Don Draper from Admin. What'd you think? Weird. Awesome. Put your tongue in her ear. I liked it. Can we just do this? Hi. Hello. I'm Hector the Well Endowed. You've got a bunch of pegasi. Let's make a deal. What kind of deal? All right. I take her by the hand and lead her to the stable. I light a candle and rip off a piece of my tunic, which I fashion into a blindfold. Oh, Hector, but I don't know shh, if I... Shh, shh, I place it gently over the elf maiden's eyes. I slowly lay her down. You both fall back exhausted, but still entwined. OK, great. I stroke her hair lovingly and spoon her for the appropriate amount of time before leaving. How long is that? Cool, cool, cool. All right, the elf maiden, thoroughly satisfied, promises you a flock of pegasi. Oh, excellent. You guys can take a break. I should check on Pierce. Welcome to Greendale. You're already dead. <laughs> Jackpot, Shirley, you keep watch while we get these. Here, help me with this. Sure thing, Your Worship. Abed, stop trying to be Han Solo. It's making me embarrassed for you. Come on, admit it. You like it. I like having conversations with adults. Playing Star Wars is worn out and immature. You like me because I'm immature. There's not enough immaturity in your life. I hope I don't get shot waiting out here. I'd hate to go home to my babies. My idea 
I've got something to say. I don't take orders from girls because they don't talk to me. Watch it, Quasar face. And he's a good kid and a better shot. So listen up or you'll be floating home. Thank you, Abed. Sorry. Han. Anyway, just wanted to let you know, I don't think you're immature. I think you're great. For a no good, laser-faced Jabba scoundrel. You're good, kid. Don't get cocky. Looks like this is it. Will you still be Han Solo after we die? Afraid not, doll. Once I'm gone, I'm gone. Oh. Okay. Final order of business. Pick a class we can all take in the fall. We could just take Anthro 201. Too risky. Sequels are almost always disappointing. Since when are you in favor of playing it safe, Han? Cool down, Annie. I was only Han Solo because the context demanded it. Mm. But here. Oh, Starburns. Yeah, he uses some kind of crystal instead of deodorant. Well, I guess the only upside to this is it's brought us closer together as roommates. Something doesn't add up. If there was no forced entry, it had to be an inside job. We don't know that. And instead of taking cash, pharmaceuticals, laptops, they take what? My Batman DVD and one piece of oddly ornate Hebrew-themed jewelry? Nana gave it. It's smoke, it's a ruse, a lie. Mm. I think I know what happened here. Abed, The I... landlord did it. It all makes sense. Rick has keys to every apartment, means. He knows when we're coming and going, opportunity. And he was dressed as the Joker for Halloween, motive. Something's got to be done. Oh, let's not leap the thing doing. Right, Annie? <laughs> There's one thing I don't understand. Why would Rick deny taking my DVD? And why break it? Well, maybe he stepped on it by accident and felt really, really, really bad. Oh, the more reason to confess. Well, not everybody's perfect, Abed. Batman, and I am. Well... Batman, on behalf of all of us that aren't perfect, can I just say I'm sorry I broke your DVD? Apology accepted. But I wouldn't mention it to Abed. That guy's pretty ruthless. And that's coming from Batman. Hey, guys. Abed, where have you been? Troy, really? Abed? Yeah. I find you by turning into you. How cool is that? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Tell me where we are so I can pretend to see it. We're inside a locker. It's where I spent a lot of time in junior high. You think this is where we'd put you? You know that's absurd, right? Well, I'm not stupid. You can see I've increased the square footage. It's a metaphorical locker. It's a place where people like me get put when everyone's finally fed up with us. Abed, so maudlin. If you start turning into a vampire... I've run the simulations, Annie. I don't get married. I don't invent a billion-dollar website that helps people have sex. I don't make it into Sundance, Slam Dance, or Dance Pants. Troy invents Dance Pants in 2019. Don't tell him. He needs to stumble onto it. All right, listen. The scenarios you run in here are like... great science fiction. They're impressive and detailed and insightful, but they're not accurate for crap. Science fiction never has been. Look at 2001. Did we have a space odyssey? No. We got snowboarding in the Olympics and we overvalidated Carson Daly. That poor guy. Yeah, cry me a river. My point is, your simulations are nothing more than anxieties. You're afraid you don't fit in. You're afraid you'll be alone. Great news! You share that with all of us. So you'll never be alone. And you'll always fit in. And yes, that's why I meddled with Troy and Britta. You caught me. I was trying to make life go according to some script. I can't. You can't. We both need to get more comfortable winging it. At least it'll be less work. I would cut down my dreamatorium time by 18 hours a week. I could take up yoga. You have the body type. Now, let's get you out of here. I don't know how. These fake shackles don't have a fake key. Isn't that what a quantum spammer's for? Technically, no. But that's fine. <sighs> so... Should we get back to lunch? I guess so. A little more anticlimactic than I would have simulated it, but whatever. Anticlimactic? Render environment, observer deck, HMS space time 12. Inspector! Set the tachyon drive to hyper jump. We must get to the other side of this star field before the Blorgons intercept. Blorgons in this sector? Well, this mission has gone pear-shaped indeed. 
Prepare to hyper jump on my mark. Fuck it, the dump comes, Inspector. We're too late. We're all gone. Our quanta blasters are useless against their armor. We're as cooked as Lord Nelson's mutton, we are. Not if I can help it. I'll see you on the other side, Inspector. Wherever that is. Don't you mean whenever that is? Take that, Blorgon scum! You'll blowgun me for this later. Oh! 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 Hey! Oh! Oh my god! Abed! I'm so sorry! No, no. You're committing. This is good stuff. Thanks. Abed! Hey, Annie. This place is so conceptual. It's practical, too. We made enough money to save Shirley's. And in an ironic way, because if Shirley saw this, her soul would die. Hey, Abed! Check this out! Oh, we're just still the worst? Yeah. This is really great. You guys should be proud of yourselves. We missed you. Have a drink. Put on an old-timey jacket. That's okay. I don't really do this anymore. Um, all right, come on. I said I don't do this, see? You dirty rat. Guys are all dirty rats. What's your romper room? All right, maybe just one drink. Abed, I don't want to talk right now. Okay. Just so you know, the Greendale ad is going to go up any time now. Thought you might want to see it. You know, I don't want to be a part of that. Just trust me. This is Ruffles. Ruffles was a student at Greendale Community College. She came really close to getting a degree, which means two things. She's an exceptional dog, and Greendale really needs to get it together. We're working on it. We're working hard. And the good news is when you work hard at Greendale, no matter who or what you are, it pays off. <laughs> right, Ruffles? No! Jesus. Greendale Community College, you're already accepted. Wait, wait, wait. Record scratch app. Mm -hmm.